Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast, Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's edition of AEW Dynamite broadcast live on TBS from the Coca-Cola Coliseum in Toronto. In the main event, Adam Copeland defeated Christian Cage in an I Quit match in 25 minutes and 46 seconds to become the new TNT champion. Cage had held the title for 179 days, minus the few minutes that Copeland held it last December at World's End. The evening's other title change took place in the opening match with Kazuchika Okada beating Eddie Kingston in 15 minutes and 52 seconds to win the Continental Championship, ending Kingston's inaugural reign at 81 days. The win also marks Okada's first title won outside of New Japan Pro Wrestling. After the match, Okada was confronted by Pac on the entrance ramp. Well, Pac wasted no time letting Okada know you're on my crosshairs with that beautiful continental title. The bastard Pac. Wow. Making his presence known here in Toronto and making his presence known to the Rainmaker, the new continental champion. Mercedes Monet opened up the show with an in-ring promo during which she was attacked by Sky Blue and Julia Hart, with Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander making the save. In other results, Hook pinned Chris Jericho, and Deanna Perrazzo and Thunder Rosa defeated Mariah May and AEW World Women's Champion Tony Storm when Rosa pinned Storm. Dynamite was followed last night on TBS with a live episode of Rampage. Sky Blue and Julia Hart teamed in the Street Fight main event to defeat Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale when Statlander tapped out to Hart. In a wildcard match for the AEW World Tag Team title tournament, Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta beat Powerhouse Hobbs and Kyle Fletcher when Cassidy pinned Fletcher. In other results, Kanosuke Takeshita defeated Rocky Romero and Katsuyori Shibata defeated Kevin Matthews. In ratings news, this week's edition of NXT drew a total audience of 569,000 viewers to USA Network, according to Russellnomics. That's down from last week's audience of 588,000. However, the rating in the 18 to 49 year old demographic was a 0.18, which was up from last week's demo rating of 0.16. In injury news, SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis underwent surgery yesterday for a torn biceps tendon, according to a social media post from Aldis. Aldis described the injury as occurring from a freak accident and indicated that he would not be missing any television time. In corporate news, John Porco, WWE's Executive Vice President of Live Events, departed the company last month, as was first reported yesterday by Mike Johnson of PW Insider. The position has reportedly been filled by Justin Scalise, previously Senior Vice President of Live Events. Since May of 2022, Porco has held the title of EVP of Live Events, the title first held for decades by longtime Vince McMahon associate, the late Ed Cohen. Porco had been with WWE since 1999, originally coming in as a member of the Public Relations Department, but switching over to live events in 2002. Turning to Japan, the finals of the 19th Annual New Japan Cup took place on Wednesday from the Aore Nagaoka in Nagaoka, Japan. Yota Suji came out triumphant, pinning Hiroki Goto in 23 minutes and one second after delivering his Gene Blast Spear. With the victory, Suji earned a shot against his Los Ingobernables de Japón teammate and IWGP World Champion Tetsuya Naito on April 6 at Sumo Hall in Tokyo. In the semi-main event, Shingo Takagi and Tetsuya Naito defeated Dick Togo in Evil. The match was initially ruled a double countout before being restarted. Following the bout, Shingo challenged Evil for Evil's never open weight title. Earlier in the show, IWGP World Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions Clark Connors and Drilla Maloney were challenged for a future title match by Kushida and Kevin Knight. Also yesterday, Stardom Cinderella Tournament came to an end inside the International Conference Hall in Nagoya. Hanan came out victorious in the 10th annual event, defeating Ami Sorhei in the final match. She became the eighth different winner in the tournament's history, joining Tony Storm, Julia, and Mayu Iwatani, among others. 
Hanan reached the final by defeating Rowaka in one semifinal, while Sorhei had beaten Azumi in the other. The main event of the card saw Mika make her second defense as the World of Stardom champion, retaining her title with a victory over Utami Hayashishta. Earlier in the show, in what looks to be her last match with the Stardom promotion, Julia wrestled Tam Nakano to a 15-minute draw. Stardom also announced the dates of their annual 5-star Grand Prix tournament, which will begin on August 10th in Yokohama and run until August 31st in Chofu. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall. Just the Wrestling News. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.